Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got us a nice old Canadian whiskey. Here. Old Canadian, nice old. 23 year old cast drink, JP Weiser. Old enough to drink if it was a person. It's come to us fan style. Test it! Canadian fan style. Fan style. Fan style. Alright, fan style so, we said. We like to say that the fan arranged for us to arranged, get this bottle. Right, just And we'll just say Joe, Joe. Joe in Canada. Good point. Yep. Good point, Joe. Joe just sent... Uh, Joe's. So this is J.P. Weiser's 23 mm. years old cask strength blend. Love that. Rare cask series. Bottled at... 52%. What? That should be illegal in Canada. That's probably the highest wow. Canadian whiskey. Yeah, I don't know if I've I don't, ever seen it up there. The uh, Lot 40 cast strength I don't think was that high. We can't but tell because it's gone. Joe sent a letter, and thank you, Joe, by the Thanks, way. Thanks, Joe. Cool. I uh, just wanted to show my gratefulness for the years of great reviews and entertainment. Not Thank sure you. if either of you collect challenge coins, but I threw one in from my unit. Ooh, Cheers, Joe. We, we kind of do. Yeah. And this is from, no, well, that's not, we won't even say right. it. What just a, territory, what right. region. But yeah. Maybe nice they can tell. Coin. It's a metal challenge coin. Looks great. Yep. That is nice. I've got coin, or speaking of challenge coins, 278. Ooh. Uh, 280. 280. That was, uh, actually, that was never my number. Now, if you notice, this does That's say cool. this does say uh, Canadian Canadian whiskey rare cast series cast strength blend. Most Canadian whiskeys are blends. Yeah, but they blend differently. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. They can do a lot of different things. So sometimes, and I don't know what they do here. Why? Because we don't research. <laughs> yeah. But they will actually like make a 100% corn. Mm -hmm. 100% rye, 100% wheat, 100% barley, whatever, and they're all aged separately and everything. And then they can mix them together post or ad hoc after it was done and make their own blends, mm -hmm. which is awesome. That yeah. means you can make a little deal sample and go, that's phenomenal. Make 200,000 gallons of that. Yeah. That's probably 200,000 gallons. I'm just saying. Maybe. Maybe. Could but, be. Probably. No, I just wanted that. to point that out for those that are watching. If you d didn't know, most Canadian whiskeys, they label them as a blend, but it's still from one distillery. They they label it as a blend mm -hmm. because they've actually. Uh, they basically them don't have summer. a distilled mash bill. They can do, they can put their ingredients together at the end, yeah. which I love. Yep. Actually, it's a. I love the idea that it's done even differently. So we have not sampled this yet. We did just crack the bottle uh, a little bit ago, little bit. Yeah. poured it just to let it get a little bit of air. Get a lot of uh, both oak and vanilla with caramel burnt touches. Yeah, very nice. Uh, actually, for sixty-four percent. Yeah, it's a very light. I went in those. soft. I was yeah. a little nervous. I thought I don't want to burn the nasal passages right off the bat. Nice sweet honeys. Mm-hmm. Now, usually a little bit of a rye will jump out at me on a Canadian whiskey. They do use a, a lot of rye in their blends. Mm, they have but I don't. Rye. Are you I getting a little bit of maybe, maybe pepper, a little bit of almost a touch of dill. Do you get it? No, I haven't yet. Just kind of a nice, light, sweet oak, sweet vanillas and creams and, and the caramels like you have. Mm hmm. But, eh, mm. maybe. A little bit Holy of spice. moly, mid palate explosion. Wow. Ooh, I'm going to have to come back into that again. That was like a, a, a carnival festival mid palate party mm -hmm. in my mouth. Mm hmm. Ooh, wow. I'll have to pop back into that bad boy. Yep, that first one, though, actually, there's a lot of darker. Mm, yeah. Um, kind of the burnt caramels and the oaks sweets, fruits. I get a corn, uh, oak corn, popcorn yeah. in the finish. Mm -hmm. The corn is nice and subtle. It's almost like a roasted kettle corn with a touch of sweetness. Oh, that's nice. Now, before I add water, I need to touch back into the middle because it was just like, it was like, 
Now I'm getting a little, I feel like I'm getting a little more rye on the nose, but I'm not really, I don't think picking up a pepperiness or mm -hmm. anything on the palate. No, still not too much rye on the palate, even for me yet. Maybe water will bring it out. Neat though, still, and a lot of cinnamon. Um, think like the cinnamon sticks that you use to put in mm -hmm. in uh, some cocktails. Um, again, yeah, you're right. Darker fruits like mm -hmm. cherry rind and not not mm -hmm. sweet fruit. No, it, uh, not, I mean not and not sherry. Berry current. Yeah, that's what I, that's where I was gonna go. Not necessarily sherry notes yeah. like sherry would, but just more wow darker fruit type palette and this time i took in a little bit less i created a little bit of salivation before i brought her in and it i think some of that original bursting was that higher abv just on the palette where it was like <laughs> um you want to drop i actually yeah. added i went with two drops just because of the Give me two 64 of that higher. yeah it's high let's <laughs> see what happens it's very good but when i kind of self-diluted mm is when I was able to pick up a few more things, but boy, was that a nice explosive entry. Hmm. Almost sounded wrong. Hmm. A little bit of dustiness on the, on the nose coming out. Still looking maybe some rye showing. Maybe that's the power of suggestion that I'm looking for it. I still get a hint of dill in there. Just a hint. There's definitely not as much uh, rye on the palate as what I'm used to with most Canadian whiskeys. Right. Oak, some cinnamons, vanillas, creams, and again, touches of burnt caramel. Mm. Mm. Blind, I may think this was a bourbon. I may think a, a 10 to 12 year old bourbon, higher ABV. Mm hmm. Mm. I think really that's most of the most of the notes. A lot of your standard bourbon notes, even. Yeah, I get a little Caramels. bit more of burnt marshmallow with a touch of water in here. Yeah, creamy vanilla marshmallowy burnt. Is there not two drops of water? Mm -hmm. Didn't hurt it. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know. If it's brought anything else out, but it's still maybe that creamy marshmallow. But I had a touch. Yeah, it might of be that. a little bit creamier. A bold and complex medley of aged corn and rye spice. What you looking for? My iPad, which I left at home again. Oh my. You got to get your I doodle, buddy. Well, I plugged it in to charge it up a little bit before <laughs> I came over. and then Our first guess. ever cast strength whiskey blend. Well, you guys did great on your first ever. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. I wouldn't say it feels 23. Well, I'll tell you what, we've had, um, well, there was, three years old. well, we had at, at, in Glasgow, Food Quig had left, I think it was the 41 year old. First of all, that just, that's worth saying again, in Glasgow, Glasgow, I like that part, mm -hmm. Food Quig left mm -hmm. and then say, I, for the tasting we had there, yes. he'd left with Roy. I believe that was the 41 year old mm. whiskey, Canadian whiskey. It's so cool up there. It's almost like scotch. It takes, mm hmm a while for whiskey to age. A little bit more marrying time in the barrel. Yeah. Right. Unlike Kentucky, where it's just blasting it, and then it's cold, and then it's yeah, super hot. I'm going to have one more sip before I score it. That's good. Um, hmm. What did I get in the finish there? I got a little bit of like... Um, Maybe a touch of roasted peanut on the very. No, I was just finish. gonna say no. Yeah. That's <laughs> a interesting. Nuts. It's it opened up a little something new. I was gonna actually say pecan, mm. kind of a, a pecan pie type. Okay. Hmm. Roasted, yeah. I get like a roasted. It could be yeah, any kind of nut. I just hmm. It's so approachable, it's such a high ABV. I haven't seen yours, but I'm giving it a 90. Ooh. 93. I was debating 92, 93, and it's just, it's really it's good. Really smooth at that high ABV, which surprises me a little bit. Could, possibly could be the best Canadian whiskey I had. I'd have to go back to the Lot 40 cask string. You were we big had. on that Northern Harvest Rye. Maybe that was me. 
<laughs> I was going to tease you there because I was always talking up the yeah, northern no. harbor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just wasn't sure. I, you went catatonic on me, and I yeah. thought, well, did he get the joke? He, there was nothing coming out of there. Speechless. <laughs> um, no, it is. It's, a, it's really good. Very nice palette. It is a high ABV. I think the 23 years of age, though, is showing. It's really, everything's really rounded. It's kind of, it's just smooth. Mm -hmm. It's married well together. Great palette, great notes coming out, great finish. The great and, whiskey. Yeah, and the fact that the uh, nuttiness kind of showed up at the end there. Yeah. Means there might even be some more things to uncover here. Yeah, some of the rye is coming out on the nose now. Yep. I just get hints or lighter, touches of lighter, rye. Lighter, yeah. sweeter rye. But a lot of vanilla is still. Mm -hmm. burnt caramel. Yep. Caramel. Wow. Well, yeah, that's a nice... Nice ABV point on this, too. And that is good. Neat. I liked how it kind of went... I mean, it, it was like a fireworks explosion, and now it's been tamed down. So, um, price point, uh, we don't know. Now, here's the deal, though. A lot of Canadian whiskeys, even the older ones, are very reasonably priced. Very. In Canada. Right. Ooh, yeah. Not because a lot of them aren't imported into the States, and I'll, I'll, I would hazard a guess this is probably a, a kept-in... Canada. I'd had a message from another fan, by the way, which kind of relates to this. They were literally saying, well, their spouse was saying they had about 10 bottles held back because we hadn't reviewed them yet, and they like to sample mm. them with mm. our review. Mm -hmm. And it was pointed out that, uh, hey, uh, I, he was told, I'm supposed to tell you from my wife that you need to find these and review them. I go, it's not really how the show works. However, however... If you really want something reviewed, you can arrange for the dummies to get said bottle, and what do we do? Bump it up in the review schedule. Yep. No like, guarantees, but we no do guarantees, try to, we try to get it. No guarantees, but it usually moves up. kind of front and center. Yes. So I'm putting that out. If anybody's got something that they're dying to get reviewed, or something that they love that is not in our area, you can make arrangements, and we will get it moved up on the review schedule. What else you got? Our traveling dummy for the week. Well, let's do a, our Scotch God shout out Good. goes to Joe. Yeah. And generally we do those on Saturdays, but we get a, you get a Scotch God shout out sure. today. I do Beautiful. like, I, I do like uh, the whiskey vault. You know how they do theirs? No. They'll go, this bottle was sent to us by Joe. You magnificent bastard. Yeah, and then it like, like gets this whole that. little screen oh, really? deal. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen any of that. <laughs> I, don't, they, I don't watch them all that much. I watch them on occasion. You magnificent yes. dummy. Maybe that's how they get 230,000 yeah, subscribers. could be. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we got 15,000. We don't call them bastards. It's we call them dummies. Like, really? It shakes yeah. and goes, so then they all want that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we should. All right. Copy it. <laughs> uh, Doug and Chris opened. We met. Doug came to Wichita for our fifth anniversary, yes. and he was also in Austin at the Bastards the Ball this last year. That's right. Uh, Doug was in. He went to Canada, and I think he's in Louisiana, mm. if I remember right. He lives uh, somewhere around New Orleans. But he went to uh, Canada in September, part of a tour group, and photographed the Northern Lights mm. in Yellowknife, Great. the Northwest Territories. Great pictures, and he showed our dummies or dummy coins, we virtually traveled with him. Yep. He says the place is so remote, first access was by plane, so he planted the Scotch Test Dummies flag mm. at this plane monument. Nice. And he's got coin, can't quite see, 203. Let's see if it can open it oh, up here. Blow it up. 203. Oh, 203. Yep. And that should be cask four with the, well, he's got, this is the Spartan, the cask four Spartan helmet on the mm. back, and then he's got our fifth anniversary coin there. That's a cool one. Now, uh, I've got a buddy that lives in Regina, and that is how they pronounce it. It's not Regina. That's right. And uh, he says his wife will actually take a flight two hours north, as far as you can drive, and then fly two hours north, and then canoe in July, way up north, and drink sip scotch at, the, at like a fire pit. I think we should do that. Mm. Yeah. That this would be, be very, I, I, yeah, I would actually like. We could almost do, yeah. maybe after we retire, we could arrange a dummy trip. Wouldn't yep. that be cool? Yeah. And be all dummy fans and whiskey, and we could all go up in canoe. 
<laughs> but uh, Doug's got pictures. He had to pick up a few Canadian whiskeys not available in the States. He's oh, got yeah. pictures of, including one of J.P. Weiser's 18-year-old. 18. Nice. And we just reviewed J.P. Right. Weiser's. Some hats and some kind of shirts. To hats. To hats and laundry. Now, those are cool. The Northern Lights are gorgeous. Though. Yeah. Yeah. That's a few cool. pictures that Doug took himself. So nice. thank you, Doug. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Doug. Great traveling dummy. And now been north. We have a Patreon shout out to do. Mm, yeah. Just came on. It is. I sent you that. Continue to help us out. How much? Patrick Lee, one dollar. Patrick Lee. And he is uh, must be his email was two, two siblings. siblings. Sounds um, like a good. Which that'd is, be a good well, distillery name. They've got a, a YouTube channel oh, as well. Okay, Newer, just getting started. There I think it's go. him and his sister. Wouldn't it be cool though if you were like the distillery was called Two Sibs, Two, two Siblings, Two Sips, Two How about Sips, Two Sips. Two Sips. That's all you can take. Of. <laughs> <laughs> that should be one of our bottles if we ever put out a dummy blend. It should be called Two Sips. What was the old deal? You can't eat just one. Right. The, the potato. The uh, was it Pringles. You can't eat just one. Is that Pringles? Do that with whiskey. I don't know. I'm still you can't take just living one off sip. of rice a San Francisco treat. I know. That's not a treat. <laughs> I know. Where it's a little bit. From? I don't know. It's a great jingle. Rice aroni. We, well, we, we remember the, uh, we were like, what's the, it was the San Francisco, San Francisco treat. Francisco. San Francisco treat. Yeah, I'm you, trying to think. It's got to be something It would be like sweet. a praline. A candy. Yeah, a praline. A pop tart. A succulent something. plum. Of course, several. <laughs> I was working on succulent plum and I just yeah. kind of processed a pop tart. <laughs> but where did San Rice yeah, San, San Francisco, Francisco treat. treat? I mean, I remember it. That's what it was. It is There's years ago. Pointed out. Yeah. I mean, hey, apparently, it, 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 a lot of people like marketing work. Marketing department likes rice. Right. It's a treat. It's, it's a treat. from San Francisco. <laughs> two sips, two siblings. All right. Thank you, and uh, those that want to support, please go to Patreon. It really helps us out um, uh, as we grow and buy lights and cameras and such. Yep. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. It's launch it. Dummies. Dummies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.